Hello guys, welcome to Sovereign Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your sovereign problems. It's nice having you in class again today, how have you been? We are going to have a quick one. We are going to see how we can get um, cross sections from our either um, contour map or yeah, let's say cross sections on sofa, right? So the first thing is that um, let's bring in um, a contour data. So for us to bring in a contour data, we just click on um, this um, contour map, right? Good. So we just click on contours. Good. So um, we already have um, a gridded data on the channel where we use them um, the sofa where we use them um, so far to actually create them um, contours, right? Good. So this is the grid file. We just um, open that, right? Good. So if you have any problem on getting out to maybe getting to the point of Generating your grid data, please um, check the description section where you will see the link to the video where we've actually made the um, elaborate um, explanation on that, right? So, since we have our contour map here, you can make your modifications, you know, change the contour intervals, the colors, and so many other stuff you want to. However, we are not just interested in that. All we want to do is to see how we can get um, processions from what from this particular contour data or cross sessions on what on sofa. So in order to achieve that, we come down to map tools and then we select them um, profile. But if it's not active, we just um, click on the on the contour map. Then we go to what um, add to add to map, right? Good. Then under add to map, we come down to profile. Now, we have shown you two methods on getting the profile on sofa. Either you come down to map tools and then you select them um, add profile or profile. Or you just um, select or let's say click on the on the map. Then you right click, you go to somewhere around um, add to map. Then you now select them um, profile, right? Good. So the next thing is that you will see a plus cursor, yeah, a plus sign as your cursor. So you draw a line across or from the top to the bottom of what of your of your contour. So you select those two lines, then you hit enter. The new or modified layer exceeds the current map limit. The limits are these. Do you want to adjust the map to limit to include this layer? Let's just click on yes. Good. So we now see what our cross section, right? Just like a profile. So we can just um, select that, you know, move that up to this point, move it up to this point, you know, move it to wherever we want it to be, and then we can have it there. Now, what is the implication or what does it actually mean? You know, if you look at the drawing, let's try to zoom in a bit. If you look at the drawing, you would see the the configuration we have on our contour map then you now look at the cross section just we are trying to what open this map up to see how each of those sections is right good so let's say the elevation we are having here are ranging from 36 sorry 26 to let's say a little bit above 28 the distance is just um, a little over 1100 right good that's the distance from this end um, let's say to this end now, the most important part is the configuration. So when you look at it, when you look at it, you would see the configuration being depicted below under the profile. So you can decide to move the line. So as you move the line, if you look closely at the cross section, you can see that what there is difference, right? Good. So you can decide to move it rapidly. You see the difference, right? So at each point here, you would see the cross section, or let's say the profile being what being depicted here. So we see a very, um, should we call it? We see that this point is very deep. That shows this particular part of what of the of the map, right? Of the contour map. So we see you go up a bit, and then let's see relatively flat. Good. Now this part which is low is being depicted here again. So this is how you can use what your contour to you know get a um, cross section or profile on sofa now these are just um, the basics you can decide to work on as many things as possible you can edit you know change the colors and 
okay let's see somewhere around here okay the title right good let's see let's call this um ss um, pro or so right good then um, the font properties you know you can see it has been affected so you can decide to give it different um, font type let's see we are using times new roman right good so we have times new roman you know so you can use them um, as many modifications as you want to write good then let's just close this part then we can come down to the profile you know or let's say the line and the field properties and you know let's still just come to the field properties let's see what we have there let's say let's say something like um, this good you can see that we have changed the fill pattern right good so we can still change it to something like this so basically you can just um, run around it and then update it to suit your taste right good you can still decide to make modifications on how most of these things are displayed however the essence of today's video is to show you how from your console map you can generate what um, a cross section or let's say a profile view so this attached to your contour map can give better context yeah or give better interpretation of what the contour map is as it is being maybe attached to your project or displayed on your project so we hope we've provided solutions to this particular solving problem if you have any problem or maybe any challenges you can actually contact us and we are going to get back to you as soon as possible so until we see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye